sir. Walk around of everything you got first before you give me a good demo. Yeah, we're running the uh, Kenwood 9704S radio. Um, running Florida Scar VT100 tweeters, two in the dash, two in the C pillar. Okay. Four FSX six and a half, two ZVX15 dual ones, a SKV2 2500.1 on those. And they're running a SKV2 100.4 on all the mids and highs. Okay, awesome. All right. What's the meter? Have not put it on the meter yet. What's it tuned to? I'm going to say roughly about 150 to 152, okay. roughly. And you have what kind of alternator? Stop. Yeah. Stop. All right. Any battery power? You got a uh, Optima yellow top under the hood and a Shuriken 100 sure. in the back. Can we see out the back of the box of it? Check sure. it out. Awesome. Yeah, you can hear the lyrics, a good musical build. Ooh, my ears are ringing a little bit. <laughs> Sounded good. Did you build the box? Yep. Okay. I like it. Exactly. Tuned at 34, just like they recommended. Yes, sir. Yeah. The amps are kind of messy. That's all right. There you go. Got the Scar 2500, 100.4, mm -hmm. and the little Shuriken battery. Okay. Awesome. Your voltage in mid 12s? It's not too bad. Thanks for the demo, man. No problem, buddy. Just say how much lower does it play than that? I haven't took it below about 28 hertz. Okay. So about 28 is your bottom, bottom where you stop at? That's where I stop on it. Okay. And of course, it's wanting to act up. Yeah. Service. Out here, yeah.
Okay. There's another one gets down at 25 hertz. Oh, that's what right. Yeah, that's a good one. I need you now. with it so it's real clean That's, that was my whole goal when building Appreciate it was it. Yeah. something not to break the bank but to be That's clean right. to exactly be everywhere yep hey what's going on guys it's jacob Vile for another daily video i want to say i appreciate all you guys for always watching being subscribers uh, if you like this video go ahead and hit the thumbs up if you didn't like it thumbs down or let us know what's wrong in the system or video and i'll try to fix it um, also give a comment on what you think of this guy's system with the SCAR 15s and a budget build as he mentioned at the end of the video with really clean mids and highs and some nice flex in the video. So let's go ahead and get started with the uh, daily shout out. It's going to go to Tommy Big Time. He said, hey man, I love all your videos. Can I get a shout out? My channel is all about Invicta watches and I'm trying to grow. Thanks Jacob, I love the content. So there's your shout out of the day, man. Appreciate you watching Tommy Big Time and Thanks everybody for always watching. So uh, if y'all want a shout out, go ahead and give me some good feedback about any videos y'all watch as well as say, hey Jake, give me a video shout out at the end and I'll go ahead and give you a shout out. So let's go ahead and get onto the topics. First topic of discussion is budget or break the bank. I consider this a budget build. Even if it's a no wall, it's 215s. Normally 215s isn't a normal daily driver, but he's got a daily driver and it's a budget build to me. So do you feel it's budget or do you feel it's breaking the bank? And not just for this system, but in general, go ahead and give me a little feedback in the comments on what you feel like is budget. I say budget is 1500 and under. So between the amps, the electrical, and the subs, $1,500 or less. It would be around five, four to $500, but I say in the car audio world today, you're not really, unless you're staying stock, and you're running under a thousand watt system, you're not gonna get in that price range anymore unless you're doing it yourself and you got things used. And I'm going by normally like new prices, it's gonna be competitive to even stay in the 500 and under market for subs, amps, power, electrical, all of that stuff, unless you're staying stock and used. Anyway, enough of that topic. Just let me know in the comments what y'all think about for budget or break the bank. What do you feel like is budget? What do you feel like is breaking the bank? Like what is the limit between budget and breaking the bank? So. Next thing, what's your favorite system to see? Uh, I, a lot of guys say they like to see the budget systems, so I try to keep a variety. Not everybody at car shows is running the cheapest system because they go to shows to show off big systems. So I do show off all the systems, just like this one. Even if it's not the bottom of this line or the top is, this guy's got a great system, a great line, and it ain't breaking the bank. So let me know in the comments as well what y'all like to see. I personally think a lot of people like to see the budget systems and then a lot of guys like to see the huge systems that are doing insane hair tricks and flexing and then breaking stuff. But let me know in the comments what y'all like to see and I'll see if I can get some feedback on that. And last thing I wanna say again, thank you guys for always watching. And I'm running out of shout outs soon, so about 10 more shout outs coming up. And then I need some more guys that are wanting me to shout them out. So go ahead and give me a comment with good feedback as well as saying you want me to give you a shout out and I'll go ahead and give you one. So I appreciate you guys watching. Check out my Facebook and Instagram. Go ahead and add me, Jacob Vile, and subscribe if you haven't. And until next video tomorrow, Jacob Vile out.